Good evening. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm Carrie. Good. Were you in the last class, Carrie? Yeah. Really? Okay. How was your attendance in the last group? It was good. Okay. Well, this is my first time. Okay, that, that's what I'm saying. Were you in the previous group? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, because your name doesn't look that familiar. No, it's the first. Okay, good, good. <laughs> where, where, where do you live, Carrie? I live, from, I live in San Salvador. What part of San Salvador? Near from Universidad El Salvador. Okay, good. And what do you do? I work at PBS. Okay, PDS. PPS. PPS. What is PPS? It's Productive Business Solutions. Oh, okay, good, good. Nice. Welcome to the class. Thank you. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Guillermo, Carrie, Arnoldo, and Rossi Bell. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Guillermo. How was your day, Guillermo? Um, I could say business as usual. I mean, it's, Hi, uh, teacher. Uh, Hello, Rosibel. Yeah, business as usual. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, every day is the same. Right. The kind of work I do, right? It's right. Well, actually, right. because the because the date, the holiday, mm -hmm. in the US. Right. It was very quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I do um, administrative work in a call center and okay. our agents didn't work today. They're, they were free. Yeah, some accounts don't work today. Uh, some others do, but even though we, 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 were, we were not busy today, it was very quiet. Good, good, yeah, okay. So welcome back. What is today's date? Um, Thursday, November the 26th. Exactly. What 2020. year? 2020. Excellent. Excellent. 2020. Please don't forget that we have classes tomorrow. So don't make mm. plans to disappear. <laughs> Why are we having classes? Okay, uh, remember that last Monday and last Tuesday, we didn't have class. How do you say reponer in English? Okay. Uh, make up. Make up. Make up. Okay. Yeah, so we have to make up for uh, Monday and Tuesday. So that's what, that's the reason why we're having classes tomorrow and also uh, the next Friday. So next week we will have classes five days. So don't make plans for Friday. Don't make plans for tomorrow or next Friday. Reponer is makeup like the makeup maquillage? Yes, but it's separated. Make up. Make up. Okay, so if you want to say maquillaje, you say, uh, where is my makeup? It's one word. But now I said, uh, we're having class tomorrow to make up for okay. the classes we didn't have uh, uh, Monday and Tuesday, right? Got it. All right, so let's begin. Uh, what is the celebration today? Thanksgiving. Giving. Thanksgiving. The US. Thanks for the, the US, yes. Thanksgiving should be every day. You know, we have to say thank you to the Lord every day, every day. So anyways, uh, what is the reason behind that holiday? Why that holiday? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Well, history say that on this something day about or it. around this day, the natives, American natives shared uh -huh. Food and share hospitality with the with the uh, British. Yeah, the British. Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, um, when the British arrived in the U.S., 
who received them? Who received the British when they arrived in the U.S. in the Native. 1600s? The, Natives. Yeah, American Natives. Na natives. Yeah, Native natives. Americans. The real Native Americans, right? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the real Native Americans are not, it's not the white man. We're talking about red, uh, 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 the Native Americans. The, the, the Indians, the Cherokees, Navajos, and all that, okay? So um, what animals did they use to eat in the first uh, Thanksgiving celebrations? What do people eat now, nowadays? What's the, the regular uh, meal? Turkey. Turkey, okay. right. What about in the past, the first Thanksgiving? What did people eat? Oh, I don't turkey? know, teacher. <laughs> so they ate turkey, they ate goose, and they goose? ate duck. Mm, turkey, duck. goose, and duck. Yeah. That was their uh, main dish. What is goose? Uh, ganso. ganso. Right, ganso. And what is duck? Pato. Yeah. Have you ever tried duck? No, teacher. Um, yeah, I, have, I, I have. remember, yes. It's in tamales. Duck, duck is delicious. Yeah, yeah. Duck is delicious. Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, yes. it's a dark meat, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little bit dark. Yeah, it's a little bit dark. Have you ever tried goose? No. No, me neither. No. Me neither. No. Okay, so at the beginning, you know, when they, um, when they thought about the idea of having this uh, celebration reunion, um, they ate turkey, goose, and duck. But you know, uh, celebrations, they change over the years, and uh, now people only eat uh, duck. So, sure, duck. so why, why were they saying thank you to the Lord, why? For harvest. Right, harvest was one, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, the British, when they came to the American continent, how did they travel? By sea. Um, by, by, ship. Ship. by ship. By ship, by yeah. water, exactly. Yes. And, and we're talking about the first trips. They made the first trips in the 1600s. Can you imagine the quality of ships in the 1600s? Do you think they were good quality? Not very safety. Exactly, not very safe. And that is, um, you know, it was a long trip from England to the East to, Coast. To America. Exactly, yes. it was a long trip. And uh, many of the British, they died uh, in, during, during the trip. The during, during the trip. The, during the trip, exactly. And many others, they died when they arrived to the American uh, continent. But few of them survived. They say, look, uh, you know, we're thankful that uh, we're in a, in a new land. Uh, how was the weather when they arrived? Any it ideas? Cold? It was very cold extremely cold and uh, so many of them they didn't resist to the very cold weather so they died so but a, a little while after they say look we have to thank god for for having us alive so that's how everything began mm -hmm. remember that when we are in the process of learning a a, a foreign language it's not only the language. You guys need to know about culture too. The history. Yeah. Yep. Okay, now are you familiar with the American flag? How many colors are there in the American flag? Three. 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 What, are, what are they? What are the colors? White. Red, Red, white, and blue. White and blue. And blue. Okay, uh, what does color white represent? Any ideas? Freedom, maybe. Yes, freedom and? 
peace. 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 Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Freedom and peace. So, can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. So we have white that represents freedom and peace. What about color red? What does color red represent? Maybe blood. Blood. Uh -huh. Blood. Yes, it represents blood in uh, representation of courage. Yeah, courage, bravery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Courage. Okay. And what about color blue? The sky. The sky. Yep. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Oh. What What about the stars in the flag? Fifty-two states. States, 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 states of the states United States. United States. States. Okay. How many states are there? Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Are you sure? Mm, no, I, I don't know. No, I don't. Fifty-one. Fifty-three. Fifty. Okay. I hear like fifty, fifty-two, fifty-one, fifty-three. There are, <laughs> are fifty. 50. Right. Um, 48 states are together. They're in the American nation. Okay, Alaska. There are, there are two states that are separate. What are the two states? Alaska, Alaska and Hawaii. And Alaska, Hawaii. And Hawaii. Alaska and Hawaii. Exactly. So Alaska and Hawaii are states, uh, but they're not uh, with the rest, with the other 48. So, oh, teacher? Yes, sir. What about Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico, yeah. Okay, Puerto Rico is American territory, but it's not a state. It's like yeah, it's it's like the Virgin Islands, <laughs> like the Solomon Islands, American yeah. Samoa. They belong to the United <laughs> States, but they're not recognized as states. Mm -hmm. Right. Like state. So if you're born in Puerto Rico, you are an American citizen. If you are born in the Virgin Islands, you are an American citizen too, but they're not states. Mm -hmm. They okay. can vote. They can vote, sure, they can oh. vote. Yeah, they have all the privileges, all the benefits that any other American citizen has. has. Right, right. Okay, how many, how do you say barras in English? Stripes. Stripes. Bars. Bars. Stripes, stripes, stripes. yes, stripes. stripes. How many stripes in the American flag? Seven. One, two, three, four, Count carefully. Okay, why 13? It's red, and, red and white. In stri stri oh, I mean. You need to include the, the white. The, the, yeah, the white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, white and red are, 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 are stripes too. So why 13? Because they represent the 13 original colonies. Ah, uh, yes. Right. Okay. Anything else? Anything else about Thanksgiving or the American flag? Mm. The ship where the 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 colonizers travel i think was the mayflower yes the mayflower okay the mayflower and it arrived in jamestown okay do you guys remember where the 13 colonies are originally um located mm, massachusetts mm -hmm. I, okay. Um, um, okay, you see the map? Yes, yes, yes teacher. Yeah. Okay, so those are the 13 original colonies. Yes, New yes. Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, South Carolina, North Carolina, yeah. Georgia, and Virginia. Mm -hmm. So those are the 13 original colonies. Any questions or comments? No, no, very no? interesting. Okay, very good. So uh, let's begin. Now we will have a um, a listening exercise. Do you have? Do you guys? Do you have paper? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, I know that everybody is very prepared when we start the class, so very good. Yes, so yes, teacher. I have five questions that I will dictate. <laughs> After you copy the questions, I'm going to play the audio. You listen to the audio and you give me the right answers. Is it clear? Okay, okay. Go ahead. Question number one. Why are they extremely low? Why are they extremely low? Question number two. What has been the temperature? What has been the temperature? Question three. What are people doing to combat the heat? What are people doing to combat the heat? Mm -hmm. Question number four. <laughs> What are city officials requesting? What are city officials requesting? And the last question says, who Sorry. is the, yes? Official is with two F. Double F, that is correct, yes. What are, and then? Okay, what are city officials requesting? Okay, serious. Good. And question number five says, who is the exception for the request? Who is the exception for the request? For the request. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, so let me see teacher. this here. Yes? Sorry, could you please repeat the number one? Exactly, very good, right now. Can somebody please repeat number one? Why Hi. are they extremely low? Okay, what, let me see. Why? Why, why, are, yes. why, yeah. why are they extremely low? Why are, why are they, they extremely, extremely low? Why are they extremely low? Thank you. What is the second question, class? What has, what been, has been, been the temperature? temperature? What has been the temperature? The temperature. What has been the temperature? Okay. What is question number three? What, what are, are people doing to combat, combat the heat? Okay. Heat. What are people doing? People doing. To combat, to combat the heat. The heat. What is the meaning of heat? Calor, no, no. fuego, exactly. fuego. fuego. El calor, el calor. Calor, yes. calor. Ah, calor, calor, calor. What are people doing to combat heat? Uh, what is question number four? What are what city are officials city requesting? requesting? Okay, what are city officials? officials. Request officials, officials. What are city officials requesting? Uh huh. And what is the last question? What is question number five? Who is the exception for the request? Good. Who is the exception for the request? Okay. How do you say si la escritura fuese evaluada? How do you say that in English? Second conditional. If, if the if writing, writing, uh, writing will, will the written be one. evaluated. Okay. okay, listen to this. Si la escritura fuera evaluada. How do you say fuera in English? Well, fuese. The written has been. Will be? Has been. Has okay. been evaluated. No, no. Okay. Let, let, me, yeah. let me remind you. Let me remind you. 
Well, remember that um, when when we're using the second conditional, we are talking about events or information that is not true at the time of speaking, right? And the rule says that you need to use the simple past tense uh, to use the second conditional. What is the past tense of is? Was. Okay. Where and was. Okay. Uh, uh, but with the second conditional, we use were for all personal pronouns. So um. if the writing were evaluated. Okay. If the writing were evaluated. How do you say si usted estuviera aquí? If you were here. If you were here. How do you say si yo estuviese ahí? If I was there. If I were there. If I were there. If I were there. Now remember, with the second conditional, um, was does not exist. Uh, were there. So you use word for all personal pronouns. How do you say si okay. estuviera aquí? She was were, were there. If she if were here, were, you, were if you. she were if here, you estuviera. if I were there, if I were there, if you okay. were here, if she were here, if I were there, yeah, si yo ahí. all right. Okay. okay, are the questions clear? Si yo estuviese. Okay, let me look Thank for you. the audio. Hold on. Okay, just just to be clear, uh, yeah. in the second in the second conditional was, it doesn't exist. No. Thank you. Teacher. You use word with all personal pronoun. So if you want to say, si el documento, si el documento estuviera acá, you would say if the if. document were here. Uh, if the document were here, were it would here. be a different story. So you say, but were is the past tense of are. Yes. So, but that is grammar, that's English grammar. You have uh, rules, Rule. for those rules, you mm -hmm. always have exceptions. Mm -hmm. If I were. If, if I, I were, were here, if you were here, if I mm -hmm. were there, yes. Si yo estuviera aquí. Right. Okay, okay so Thank you, teacher. Are, okay. So let me put everybody on sign in. I'm going to play the audio, take notes, and we will discuss. The answers when we return. Let me see this here. New share. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Can you hear the audio? Yes, teacher. Okay, very yes. good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Power company reserves are extremely low at present due to the prolonged heat wave this area has been experiencing. The city has hit record temperatures four days in a row, with the thermometer reaching 40 degrees Celsius. In addition, the city's air pollution alert is higher than it has ever been before. To combat the heat, people are running their fans and air conditioners night and day. However, if we don't all work to conserve energy, local utility workers say all power reserves will be used up by the end of the month. This has never happened before in our city, and we all need to work together to prevent a power crisis. City officials are therefore requesting that businesses only use their cooling systems in the afternoon and that private homes use theirs in the evening and early morning hours. Retirement homes, hospitals, and schools are exempt from this request and should continue to use cooling systems during operating hours. One more time, pay attention. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. I'm sorry, but I cannot hear it all. I mean, I can hear you, but I cannot hear the audio. I don't okay. know if I'm the only one with the issue. Or... Okay, what about the rest of the class? Can you hear the audio? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Okay, so well, maybe... I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, so maybe you need to regulate your, your headset or your speakers. Pop up the box. It's maybe. very weird. All right, here uh, we go. Very weird. 
All right. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Power company reserves are extremely low at present due to the prolonged heat wave this area has been experiencing. The city has hit record temperatures four days in a row, with the thermometer reaching 40 degrees Celsius. In addition, the city's air pollution alert is higher than it has ever been before. To combat the heat, people are running their fans and air conditioners night and day. However, if we don't all work to conserve energy, local utility workers say all power reserves will be used up by the end of the month. This has never happened before in our city, and we all need to work together to prevent a power crisis. City officials are therefore requesting that businesses only use their cooling systems in the afternoon and that private homes use theirs in the evening and early morning hours. Retirement homes, hospitals, and schools are exempt from this request and should continue to use cooling systems during operating hours. One last time. Here we go again. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Power company reserves are extremely low at present due to the prolonged heat wave this area has been experiencing. The city has hit record temperatures four days in a row, with the thermometer reaching 40 degrees Celsius. In addition, the city's air pollution alert is higher than it has ever been before. To combat the heat, people are running their fans and air conditioners night and day. However, if we don't all work to conserve energy, local utility workers say all power reserves will be used up by the end of the month. This has never happened before in our city, and we all need to work together to prevent a power crisis. City officials are therefore requesting that businesses only use their cooling systems in the afternoon and that private homes use theirs in the evening and early morning hours. Retirement homes, hospitals, and schools are exempt from this request and should continue to use cooling systems during operating hours. All right, let's do it all together. Uh, what is the conversation about, the, the article about? It's about the ener energetic crisis. Okay, and what are they uh, doing about it? They are using the the system of of cool in determinate uh, hours of the day. Okay, all right. Someone else. Okay, now what is the reason uh, they are extremely low? Because of the prolonged heat. A heat wave. Yes, because of the prolonged heat wave. Yes. Heat wave. I yeah. Think. What What is a heat wave? Is the opposite is the opposite to the cool front? <laughs> exactly. Nice to explain. Good. A heat wave is the opposite of a, a cold front. Yes. So a heat wave, man, three, four, five days with extremely high temperature, that is Several a heat days. wave. Several days. Yes. Okay, good. What has been the temperature, class? 40, 40 degrees, degrees Celsius. 40 degrees Celsius. Very good. What are people doing to combat the heat? Running fans and air conditioning. Excellent. Night, they are running and fans and air conditioner night and day, right? Uh, what are city officials requesting? The business the, the, only use in the afternoon. The okay. Afternoon. And what about homes? Evening. Evening. Uh, during yeah. night and early morning. Yeah, early in the morning and evenings. And what is the exception for the request? Hospitals Hospital. and schools. Yeah. Hospital schools retirement and, retirement and retirement home. homes. And retirement homes, exactly. Very good, nice, nice. Okay, so how do you feel with this listening? How do you find it difficult? Easy or acceptable? Acceptable. Acceptable. Okay. Acceptable. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So remember that when you play an audio and the speaker is going fast, you have to go faster. Right? So you say, oh, this person speaks really fast. I have to be faster. 
Okay, any questions or comments? No? I guess not. All right, so let's go to this here. When you're doing the platform, you will find this exercise. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is the topic of the exercise? Uh, how, how, have how, have you changed? Changed? how have you changed? How have you changed? Describing how you've changed. I used to be, but now I'm, I'm more, now I enjoy. Now the second chart says, describing how you like to change. I'm interested in, I would like to be more. And then you have three things I've changed and three things I like to change. Any questions or comments about this vocabulary? Or about the exercise you're about to do? No, I think it's clear. Okay, can somebody take a screenshot and send it to the um, what's up, please? I will. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Let me create the uh, Pair work, create rooms, and here we go. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm going next. If you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I used to wake up very early in the mornings, but now I am waking up until seven a.m. Okay. <laughs> seven Is that correct, is teacher? Early, yeah, but. But I was about to say, 7 a.m. is still early. 
I used to wake up um like four four thirty in the mornings because I used to go to my work, but now I am doing home office, so I can use that time to to get some more. Okay, sleep. and and what time um do you start working? What time do you have to be in the office? Six a.m. Seven. seven. But. No, seven. Yes, seven, six thirty. But now I begin my day at eight a.m. I change my 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 start time. Good, good. So you're sleeping more so now. So you take in like, mm -hmm. Yes. What? I'm sorry. But I I say you now. Are you checking uh, late later? Yes, that's right. I used to leave the office around 4 or 5 p.m. And now I finished um, all my work around 6, 6.30 p.m. So okay. I, I wake up late, but it's kind of the same time in working, I mean. Mm -hmm. right. yes. And my husband died, and my fa my dad, uh, the, uh, yes, and, and, and it's, a, it's a little difficult for me, but I, I think it's, it's the life, it's the life. We need to to accept the, the, the things that we receive during the life, during our life, and it's, it's okay. God yes. uh, help, help us to... To be to be uh, strong, have, have strong with the with the things that we we Happy live. In your life, right? Yes, yes. More helpful. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a good or, decision. It's it's a very good change. Yeah, actually, I think yeah, that we all we definitely. need to, to improve our uh, eating habits. You know. Also, let me see, I used to be more lazy. <laughs> now I'm trying to do more exercise. I mean, not all the days or all the time, but uh, for example, one or two days a week, like, you know, uh, going, jogging or running, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you what are the things that I I think I had changed maybe in the meantime you 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 come with uh, a different idea right like okay. other things that you, you think that you had changed okay. well in my case I think that something that I have changed is that in the past I was like I don't know how to say that but I was someone that was really um, Orgulloso, how do you say that in a fan in English? <laughs> uh, or when you say orgulloso, you mean creída? No, oh. not exactly. Like someone that always is proud. Like you when can I say get proud. mad with someone, I I I I was expecting for them to ask for forgiveness. And I never do that. Okay. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like I don't know if, if someone. Um, I think that someone hurt me or something. I I was never someone that was trying to forgive them. That's what I'm trying to say. That the word would be proud. Yeah, proud. Okay. Yeah. So I think I used to be like that, but I'm not like that anymore because I think that that made me lose a lot of people that I cared about. So I'm different now. Like I know when I need to ask for forgiveness. Good. And forgive people as well. So I think that's something that I, I have changed. And let me think what else. Nice. Good to hear that. <laughs> yes. Well, that's one thing. And yeah. Monday to Thursday at at uh, um, at what? Mediodía? It's at noon. At noon. Noon. At noon. 
Nun, uh -huh. uh, when I I am in uh, at the office, I play uh, every day. Really, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> really nice. I mean, you play you... what? Soccer. Uh, ah, soccer. Soccer. I I I suck for soccer, basketball, or whatever, and I never was a really good player. So I, I try to to walk or run or swim, for example. But for everything, every sport to have relation with a ball, I am terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I was not a good athlete either. You know, I didn't <laughs> practice uh, many sports when I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't, I don't like soccer, for example. I, I, when my friends, uh, told me, hey, Carlos, go out and have some drinks and watch uh, some... Uh, uh, soccer game? Soccer game, thank you. Uh, I, I say yes because I want to be with them. But right. Not because I want to see the, soccer, the, the game, you know. Right, right. Are you watching the fight on Saturday, Mike Tyson? No, no. I, He's I, fighting. This the next Saturday. This coming Saturday, yeah. Oh my gosh, I yeah. didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, he's fighting. He's like 50, 52, 53, I think. Uh, and he's fighting. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah. That so that's be... going to be a big event, you know. Exactly, exactly. because yes. it's, it's Mike Tyson. Exactly. I, I think Mike Tyson has been uh, one of the best boxers in history. <laughs> Could be. My dad said uh, he passed away a few years ago, but me, my, my dad used to say that Mike Tyson was not a boxing. Uh, was a, in Spanish, he said fajador. Okay. Because he just arrived and punched the people and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you know? Right. Right. But of, but of course, I think it's a, it's a really good. Uh, yeah. Boxing. Yeah. You know, in, in the United States, when, when there is a major event like Mike Tyson, uh, the fights are not for free. You have to pay extra to the cable companies, you know. Exactly. And oh. people were like, okay, let's get together. Oh. Let's prepare a barbecue, whatever. <laughs> and a few minutes later, the fight was over. <laughs> because of yeah. what you were saying. Mike Tyson, he went to the ring and boom, 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 boom. Okay, fight is over. Fight you know. Over. Yeah. yeah. It's yes. true. So yeah, it, it happens. But some sometimes I I don't, so I have to to watch videos or read something to 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 get asleep. <laughs> What time do you usually go to sleep, Noe? We are talking um, just about that. Yes, yes, uh, we are talking just about uh, that. Uh, I usually go to bed at 11 or 12. And what time do you wake up? I wake up at uh, 5.30. That's early. Morning. Yeah, yes. I'm still sleeping at that time. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you get up, Carrie? Well, if I have to go to work, because I'm I'm mixed up, home office, and sometimes I have to be at the office. All right. But when I have to go, I wake up like six thirty, and when I turn, I wake up like eight. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but when I have to. When I, when I come from Santa Ana, I wake up, I woke up at mm, four in the morning or, or, or uh, a little before. And do you use public transportation, uh, Noe? No, I drive to, to okay. from, from Santa Ana to San Salvador. Okay. Yeah, that makes it uh, uh, your trip easier that you don't have to worry about catching public transportation, you know, on a Monday. Yeah, before the pandemic, I only use public transportation because it's, it's uh, less 
stressed and, and, and tiring, but um, from the, 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 the pandemic, I, I, um, I use the public transportation uh, less. Yeah, yeah, it's less dangerous, you know. Yes, I, but I always use public transportation because every day I use a, a, the, the bus or, or micro bus, but Mini it's bus. only, mini, yes, but it's only for a, um, for a short period, like uh, 10 minutes or, or 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. So you I take the bus to go to your work? Yes, I take the bus. Uh, okay. Yes, but this the work is is uh, near to to my to my to your house. house. You live, to your house. house. Yes. Uh, okay. But not uh, the case. Not the case uh, 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 when I coming from Santa Ana because the travel is like two or two hours or two and a half hours. Yeah, especially in El Desvío de Opico, there is a lot of traffic. Yes. Now uh, the traffic begins uh, before the Desvío de Opico. Right, right. On, until um, until uh, Los Chorros. Yeah. So it's very, very... Difficult. Uh, very difficult. So that's, that's what I had to 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 wake up so early in the right, morning. Right, right. I went to Huachapan like a month ago, I think, and uh, I used public transportation and it took me three hours from Huachapan to Lourdes. And I said, oh my goodness, this is the last time yeah. that I go by bus, you know. <laughs> you live in yeah. Lourdes station? Yeah, I live in Lourdes, right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, but, but three hours, I mean, like, because I took the, the bus back and forth. So when I took the bus in El Poliedro, it took me like an hour to arrive to Huachapan. On my way back, it was like 5 p.m. Everybody's returning to San Salvador. Traffic was chaotic. It was really, really bad. So I said three hours. Uh, oh, yes, it's terrific. Some sometimes I, that's why that's why I left I I left to travel only <clears throat> only from San Salvador to to go out to Santa Tecla it took some um, one hour or yeah. one one hour and thirty minutes that's that's no way <laughs> yeah um, yeah it, it's not a bargain. Yes, yes. It's, so I had to quit the uh, travel uh, every day. Right, right. Yeah. You know, uh, something similar happened to me uh, a couple of years ago. I was in a project in Zacatecoluca and I used to travel from San Salvador to Zacatecoluca every day, every day. Now, traffic was not the problem because I left like really early, really early. So, uh, but the, the, the money that I was spending in gasoline was, you know. So, yeah. I, said, uh, so <laughs> I, I ended up renting a room in Zacatecoluca. And I used to travel to San Salvador only on, uh, on Fridays. Yes, it's, it's, that's it, the other uh, problem. Because uh, especially on Fridays, I... I spent the the on, only only from San Salvador to Santa Tecla to spend the gas that I will spend in the the whole uh, trip. Uh, trip. Yes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> True. And the and the and the the, the car is, uh, is is breaking down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was spending like a little bit more than $300 just in gasoline every month. So, you know, they would give us gas money, but I said, uh, I can use this money in, in other things that are more important than gasoline, you know, so, so I changed. Yes, it was terrible. Yeah. 
the I hope uh, that uh, issues uh, go down with the the the, the project uh, about the the the, the I, I don't know how to say in yeah English. the new road yes with the, the with the peripheric yeah 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 hopefully all right let's go back to the main session okay. Hi, mister. Hello, Eduardo. You were Hi. able to come in. Yeah. I, I, I was making a mistake. I was, I was trying to enter in, in to, to, to the class before, to, to the class course. Oh, with the, with the old information. Yeah, exactly. What was my mistake? Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Welcome. All right. So, um, any questions or comments about how you have changed? Have you changed uh, in some ways? Yes. Must be. You have to. Yes, be. in many ways. Okay. Life makes you change. Exactly. Life makes <laughs> you change. <laughs> right. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay, now are those changes in your life good or bad? Some good, um, and some some good and some bad. bad. Yeah, yeah. So when you make when so when you make bad changes, when you make bad decisions, you know you have to use them as lessons and don't repeat yeah. the same mistake again. Yes, yes, and uh, are things related with the edge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I experience things now, you know, that, that I'm getting older and I said, my goodness, five years ago, 10 years ago, I was uh, completely different, you know, but yeah. I, life sure. makes you change. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, any questions or comments? No teacher. No. I have a question. Yes. From something from the platform. With yeah. Exercise? Yeah, from the platform. Yes. Carrie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the one point eight knowledge check that you uh -huh. have to rewrite the sentence. Okay. Can you make a, an example at least for the first one because I have tried. Uh, let me see this here. Okay. Is my email open? Let me see. I had problem with that part too. Okay, let me check. Check in the camera. <laughs> Hi, Francisco. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm hearing someone eating. <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, uh, which number did you say uh, your questions are? One point, one point, one point eight. eight. Okay, one point eight. Let's check this here. Let's see what the platform has. All right, knowledge check. I'm going to refresh my memory what they're asking you for here. Okay, I'm the youngest in the family. The nice thing is that I get a lot of attention. You have to make a single cent. Right, right. So let me show you this. So the nice thing about being the youngest in the family is that I get a lot, a lot of attention. 
do that. Maybe I have a mistake in the way. Right, and, and, and remember that uh, sometimes your answer is correct, but sometimes writing a period is not necessary. In other cases, it is necessary to write a period. So you have to yes. be careful. You have to be careful. Yeah, that had a, this one has a period and I didn't put the period. Okay, right. So yeah, so um, be careful with the spelling. Uh, be careful with punctuation because the platform um, is very picky, we can say, the way they programmed it. So like if, mm -hmm. if this is the only... Uh, answer that the platform will accept uh, mm -hmm. that's the only one you should uh, uh, include mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. okay any other questions or comments people let me check the nice thing about being the youngest so you use for example the is that you get a lot of you, in this case, is about being like to to make one sentence, right? Right, right. You have to put the two being. parts in one. Singers mm -hmm. about being. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. exactly what exactly in that. The same form. Same, the same for about. And it doesn't being. accept it. The yeah, because young, I don't have the period at the yes. at the at the end. Okay. I, I, I will try putting the period. Okay. I, 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 I put the period and even and no. uh, I, I had a uh, wrong. Okay, okay. And, and something else, maybe sometimes it's not the spelling, but the spaces that you leave between mm -hmm. the words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that happened yesterday with the other exercise that children's. Uh huh. Uh, how do you say apostrophe? Apostrophe. Oh, apostrophe. apostrophe. Okay, the apostrophe. Okay. Make the space, cut, run, 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 run. Right, right. So you have to be careful with the punctuation, with the spelling, the spaces, uh, little yes, things. Yes, you're right. Little things. Yes. You have to be very careful. Okay. Okay. Any other questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? Can you move lower? Lower? Yeah. It says, I have a younger sister. The trouble is she all is she always wants to borrow my clothes. The trouble is with having with having a younger sister. Yeah. But in this case, like in number two, they accept two different uh options. So you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Any other questions or comments? Is the younger sister. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess not. Thank you very much for your time. Remember, we have classes tomorrow, so don't make okay. plans on Friday. All right. Okay, I try. Have a good night. Good night. Have a good night, night teacher. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye, bye. bye, bye. bye teacher. Bye. <laughs>